Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kiara. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, as always, thank you guys so much for watching me. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stay around for a little bit. Get to know me. This video was inspired by all of Destiny. I just wanted to throw that out there because I watched her video and it just really inspired me. So I'm writing this letter to my my 20 year old self as well as other 20 year olds who are out there. I did write a couple of things on my phone just kind of to have a reference on what I'm talking about. I do want to start by saying again, my name is Kiera. I'm 25 years old. I currently live in North Carolina. I'm born and raised in North Carolina. I come from a family of six. My mom and my dad have five kids together. My dad remarried and he has a child by his wife now. So that's that. I have six siblings. I am the second out of the six. That's, that's that, okay? Let's just get into this video. It's 2016. I am 20 years old. Do what makes you happy because you're the one who has to live with it. This is my sophomore year in college, I believe, because I actually joined the military, so I started college late. So I come from a town that made you feel like you had to go to college to be successful. Nursing was my major. I wanted to do that because that's what everybody told me that I needed to do. However, I found out that this is my life and I have to take control of it. And when I got into like the nursing classes, I instantly realized that this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life. But I just felt like it wouldn't be something that I would wake up every day and be happy about doing. I changed my major to social work. I got comments like, You don't make a whole lot of money. You're not gonna make a whole lot of money. You gotta go back to school. You're just gonna be a paper pusher. You need to be a nurse or a doctor. That's what money is, a lawyer. But in our reality, you have to do what makes you happy. So my best advice to anybody who is struggling with naysayers, whether it's family, friends, parents, whoever, make sure that you are choosing a life that you don't mind living. And at the end of the day, you know that you are happy doing what you are doing because it's your life. When you go to bed at night, when you land in bed at night, when you worrying, when you crying, when you praying, it's only gonna be you. I'd rather choose something and not like it, but know that it was a choice of mine versus doing something that somebody else tells me and then I don't like it and it was a choice of theirs. I allowed them to have that control and that power over my life. So always do what makes you happy in like relationships and friendships as well. Just because you've been friends or you've been in this relationship for a long time, don't let history make you feel like you gotta make this work with this person. There's so many distractions, it's easy to fall into peer pressure, but you have to make sure that you have a mind of your own. Never follow somebody else, be the leader. No one is you and that is power. The year is 2017 and I am 21 years old. Never give people the power to control you. I was still in college. I remember this year specifically because it was a year where I was struggling like really really struggling this year i discovered that every time that i was upset every time that i was crying every time that i was hurt i realized it was because i gave people the power to do these things to me never give people that much power over your life all of destiny said something in her video she said no one needs to know everything about you you act on those emotions and that's what the other person is trying to do so never give people that power don't let them upset you don't let them make you mad who you are your mental state your your mindset you are in control and know that because there are so many different things people substances that you can start to allow to control you in college you have a lot of access to drugs you got access to sex to access to boys you have access to girls and there's nobody there to really tell you like no you can't do that always stay aligned with what you want to do and never allow people to have that control or that power over you no one can upset you no one can make you mad nobody can hurt you nobody can make you cry nobody can do anything to you unless you allow them and i don't mean that like okay there are some rare cases so i i don't mean to say that to make people feel like for example if you were raped or something like that i don't say that to say that you chose that because that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying like there are certain situations that you can't control so control them don't let them control you so the year is 2018 and i am 22 years old there is always better god always has better better job better relationship better friends and this was my year of better i decided to go to school online and move back home i was working at an assisted living facility that was horrible they did not pay nowhere near what they should have been 
paying me. Always know your worth. Don't let these jobs take control of you. Don't let these jobs take advantage of you because at the end of the day, like you gotta know your worth. You gotta know your work ethic. You gotta know what you bring to the table and you ain't gonna settle for less. But also, if you're gonna leave, make sure you put in a two week notice or something like that. Just keep it professional because you never know when you may need a reference. And then shortly after we were back home, I decided to pack my things and move to a city that was about two and a half hours away from my hometown. I basically started over. I just needed to change. It was pretty much just me. I got a new job working at the headquarters of the North Carolina National Guard in Raleigh. I moved to a new unit. I got promoted and I also graduated college. I let go of this toxic ass relationship and I let God move. I met my partner now and it was the best thing that happened to me. Things just started falling in place for me. It was just kind of like I needed to jump to get everything that God had for me where I was at. I don't feel like I was in a place to receive it. While being at home, my focus wasn't always on myself. It was more so on everybody else and making sure everybody else was straight. But you can't get to the point that you're helping everybody else that you're not pouring back into yourself. When you start to notice that you're getting frustrated by doing it or you're getting upset by doing it or it's irritating you, then it's time to step back and refocus and put that energy back into yourself or be around more people who are willing to put that energy back into you because at the same time that you're out here trying to help everybody else, you have a life to live too and your happiness matters. Your mental health matters. So never sit there and put things before yourself. And if there's something that you truly want to do, if you want to change, jump, jump, jump. Cause God gonna take care of you at the end of the day. I remember when I moved there, I had no idea what I was gonna do. Like I didn't have a job at the time. I did have a little bit of savings. I was still going to school. I had just moved to my unit and I was still two hours away from my new unit. And all of these things just started transpiring. It was just like, wow, like I really saw the true power of God in that year. I'm not telling you what to do, but if you're not happy in this season, if you're not happy with your job, with your relationship, with your family, with where you are in your life right now, really think about it and think about are you doing everything that you can right now to make it better or to try to change that. If you are and it's not changing, it's not happening, it's time to Fabulous said a quote, he said, I made some changes in my life, I don't regret none of them. So if you ain't heard from me, then you probably one of them. People want different results, but do the same. Shh. They wait for it to come. I became it. So the year is 2019 and I am 23 years old. Things can fall apart, but still come together. Never say never. This year, I experienced one of the worst things that I've ever experienced in my life. I felt some of the worst hurt that I ever felt in my life and I also got deployed. I got that water. I got that water. In this year, as well as I got married in this year. So, as you can see, like things went from the worst to better. And it was something that I had to kind of accept because I got so down in a season of hurt, drowning in my pain, that I really started to feel like things couldn't get better. I really started to feel like I couldn't go on. I didn't know how I was, how I was gonna go on. I didn't have the strength. I didn't have the motivation. I lost my faith in God. Like I just absolutely felt like it was it for me. I wanted to die, you know, just rip my heart out my chest and throw it in the trash can burn it up, something like, I really felt my lowest. So luckily I had him to kind of like pull me out of the dumps and really speak life into me. It's so important to have people around you who are going to speak life into you. If you have people who are constantly always speaking fear into you or they feel the same way that you do and they're not really trying to help you grow and help you to get out of those dumps, it's time to reevaluate your circle. It's time to step into a season where you find people who are aligned with your goals, aligned with your values, aligned with your beliefs. Because when you are down and out, you're gonna you're gonna need those type of people. And when they are down and out, hopefully they're gonna need the type of person that you are. If I would have given up, if I would have stopped, if I would have just ended it all, it would have been I would have never got to experience everything that happened later in that year. I can say that. 
some of the best things in my life occurred in this year but i just say all this to say is never get focused on the bad days to the point that it makes you feel like you have a bad life i think a lot of people fail to talk about mental health it's important the same people that's probably putting all this pressure on you to be this and that probably never even done it either really take care of your mental health because sometimes we can get so caught up in the moment that we may act off of our emotions in the moment and it could cost us for the rest of our life or cost us our life right then and there things can fall apart but also come together for the better the year is 2020 and i am 24 years old loyalty is not in what you say but in what you do i just got back from deployment one year into marriage i moved to another area people change People that I felt like I always had, people that I felt like really had my best interests at heart, people that I felt like were always gonna be my friend, people that I just truly valued, I realized that they don't value me. And I don't know if it's jealousy, lack of expression, my growth and the fact that I don't partake in certain events or activities anymore and people can accept that. I don't know if I, because my mindset changed, because my focus changed. There's no bad blood, but I just realized that when you are in a new place and you have grown out of a place and others haven't, it's hard for you to surround yourself with them as well as it's hard for them to surround themselves with you being that they're not in a better place this is just my truth loyalty is not in what you say but in what you do so if those people aren't bringing to the table everything that you're bringing cut i get it people got shit that's going on but there's no excuse for being a shitty person period year 2021 i am 25 years old it is okay to outgrow things I feel like in this season, I'm doing a whole bunch of unlearning. Things that I felt like were the way life's supposed to go and the way I'm supposed to act and, and what I'm supposed to do. And I'm, I'm learning that, nah baby, that's not how this about to go down. And it's been the best thing that I could do for myself. I've removed myself from a lot of people, a lot of things that just don't serve me anymore. While at first I felt bad, I honestly don't care because I'm the happiest that I've ever been. I'm unlearning a lot of things, a lot of ways that I was taught to deal with certain things. I'm learning that they're not effective and I don't care to do them anymore. I'm learning that there are some people who are in my life who are simply not genuine, destructive, hypocritical. I'm learning that certain people's energy, I just don't want around me. I don't care for you to know nothing about me. I don't care for you to be around me. I don't care to talk to you. I don't care about none of that. I am in a season where I am able to open the door for new things to come into my life and they already have. It's like I'm able to actually be in a place where I can receive those things now because I have gotten rid of all the baggage, all of the things that no longer serve me. It's all love, but out of love, I gotta love myself. I set the bar for myself and this is where I wanna be at. And some people simply just can't go with you. And it's okay, it's life. So yeah, this is my letter to my 20 year old self and to every other 20 year old out there. May you spread your wings and prosper. May the good Lord take you wherever you want to go. May all of your heart's desires be fulfilled. I hope you're able to look back and say, I have lived my life for me. I wish you all goodness, happiness, love. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Toodle doodles.